Hello, I'm Joey Only, Caribou Weather Dude, up here in Wells, British Columbia, Canada. Yes, welcome to the 1,000th episode here on my channel. 1,000 videos I've put out so far. You know, that's pretty good, I think, so far. So far, so far, it's pretty good. Well, you know, when I got sober, I decided, like, I'm going to make my YouTube channel, which I never did anything with, into something. So it was, like became like a stay-home hobby, became a sober project, and... Went at it for quite a while, eventually started making videos with Frankie McDonald, and we started our show, The Comedian Report. I've been putting out forecasts for Western Canada, West Coast, Pacific Northwest. I've been assembling videos of forest firefighting that I've done, and storm chasing, and things like that, plus some of my own creative stuff. So let's have a little look through my channel. Be prepared! Be prepared! Here we have it. Joey only, care be what they're doing. The first thing you'll notice is some of the disappointing numbers here. 58 views, 48 views, crazy interaction between forest fire and severe thunderstorm. That's, that's ridiculous action, but 58 views. 46 views, 48 views on some beautiful videos of rainbows. Here's another one of another fire season video, 76 views. So here's the one thing I, I'm a little bit disappointed at is how low the views are for how much work I put out in some of these videos. So one thing I like to see differently going forward is is more viewers. I'd like to make this channel into something. And I got something else to say. So we go into playlists here and in playlists you can see some of these playlists have are kind of like episodes. So Storms and Craziness, Fire Season 2023, John Kaufman, Wing Chun, that's a good one talking about Sifu who lives in Hong Kong about Wing Chun Kung Fu. Uh, I've only got six videos in history so far, but I do intend to make more. Weather in the fire environment, I'm going to eventually get into uh, new episodes on uh, the interaction between weather and fire, chill coat and wild horse encounters, uh, Tomahawk Fire Crew 2021. Hurricane warning! Earthquake warning! Hurricane warning! Earthquake warning! Here we are back in 2021, and this is... When our fire we decided to make itself into a thunderstorm. And then that thunderstorm went to the camp that we were staying at, which would happen to be at Fraser Lake, British Columbia. Uh, very crazy lightning, very scary storm. Oh, there you go. Close shot, close encounters, right? So definitely always looking for the thunderstorm that gives us the craziest moments. Our own fire creating a thunderstorm, creating more fires. Thunder's so loud, it's setting off all the car alarms, truck alarms there at the uh, oil pipeline camp. So definitely I'll be looking to to increase the number of videos on the Storms and Craziness playlist over the years. So a good place to check in. Storms and Craziness. Lots of craziness. Always trying to get myself into the crazy places. I'm an extreme weather junkie. That is what I am. What is your favorite temperature what would you what would what is the Minus perfect temperature 180 degrees <laughs> certainly that reminds me back to a time in 2021 when wells british columbia got hit by a pretty severe thunderstorm yeah. one that was trying to trying to create a tornado almost yeah. it certainly had had winds that hit the ground that went in Directions that the weather was not going and the winds were not going. So I don't know if you could consider what happened here a tornado touchdown. Probably not. But certainly that tree came flying right down, right where we were parked right there. Are you serious? Just one tree blown the wrong direction. Very interesting. Very. And that was after seeing clear rotation in the sky. So not only did we have that tree come down that day, then we were treated to an epic lightning storm. Certainly, if you have a chance to see my video from this year, Vanderhoof, Epic Lightning Storm, uh, that was some of the most gnarly, consistent ground bolts I've seen in some time. It was awesome. 1,000 videos, all kinds of stuff on this channel that you can watch. There you go. It's hard to see lightning like that and not swear if you're me. So, sorry about the language sometimes in the videos. I do tend to have that hillbilly kind of talk. I can't help what I am. Fire start. There you go, there's a fire start right there on the mountain. Right there, you can see it, little tiny dot. It never became anything significant. The rain did put it out. But for a moment, when it flared up, 
You got me wondering. <laughs> well, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, whether it's hot, Frankie's got the weather we got. Wait a minute. <laughs> Another playlist you can look at. Comedia Report. That's the show that Frankie and I put together with Brandon Houck. And there's now 114 episodes. So out of the 1,000 episodes on this channel, 114 of them are the Comedia Report. And look at some of the people we got on here. Comedian Tim Nutt. Comedian John Sheehan. Uh, Washboard Hank. Paul God. He's from the Ripcords. Uh, these are just early episodes. Pete Diakoski. So you've... CFL player, Hamilton Tiger Cats legend, Pete Diakoski. Uh, that kind of stuff on here. John Sheehan again, comedian, Mr. Roy Robbins. So these go back quite a long time now. All right, Brandon, how about you? We almost lost it by two. We've also had people on there like Mark Robinson and Johanna Wagstaff. So definitely had some some amazing people from the weather world here to, on with our comedian, report. Another video playlist you can look at is, uh, this is from my fire season. I'm still putting out videos on this right now. So there's 24 videos uh, that are public on here. You can watch. And except for the first two, which are kind of like the introduction to the best parts of our season, the rest of it's kind of in sequential order. So as you go through what happens in my fire season, here's us in Fort St. John. We went to Alberta up at that time as well. Uh, then went to a fire away outside of Mackenzie where I got to work with the Wolverines for a little while there, but eventually got back in with Iverson. Iverson, we went to uh, Taddock Lake and Finger Lakes, Vanderhoof, and um, uh, Fraser Lake, and then well west of Nazco, outside Bella Coola, was on standby in Kamloops, and then back up to Fort St. John. So a very busy season, six tours, 75 days I spent on the line this year. At this one point of the season, we found ourselves at Taddock Lake Lodge. This is the road going to Taddock Lake. And the whole forest was trying to uh, burn over the road. And then we happened to be there at that time. Nothing we could do. The fire was already too hot, too crazy. So then we got ourselves uh, back in the truck, turned ourselves around quickly as we could and got out of there before everything burned over. There just was not much we could actually do at that point. But it's not the only big moment we had this summer. I had some pretty big moments, so definitely you want to uh, look through this fire playlist and see for yourself some of the amazing moments that we had as a fire crew. And it's not the only season I got fire footage from. Got this playlist, Fire Season 2022. Uh, wasn't a crazy fire season, but we did have some pretty good moments, nonetheless. So we had this one day out there, way west of Williams Lake. And here's the air tractors coming in, hitting that fire one after another. So certainly some of the good things you see, uh, here's Hudson and Dallas was in that crew. So some of the guys I worked with, there's Brendan Dan. Um, if you go back to my 2021 videos, some of the guys that were in my crews that are in those videos are no longer alive. So I think, you know, that's why Jory Jim, who was uh, with us for a little while there in the Kamloops Lake Fire, or, uh, we had uh, a young kid named Thunder with two, two tours with us. He's in the videos. Uh, my friend Kenneth Patrick. Kenny Patrick just died in that crazy accident that killed four firefighters. Uh, he was also in our company. There's uh, a couple of video clips of him in 2021 when uh, my five pack and his five pack were lined up together him and i are both crew leaders of our fives so that just gives you an example of like some of the memories that are captured and created and in those cases uh you know memories of people who uh we we are sorely lacking in memories of here's a good playlist to go through tomahawk fire crew 2021 uh yeah lots of exciting stuff happened in this one of course the best one i think that's a forest fire this video captures a day where uh, we tried to hold the line as long as we could, but eventually that fire got so hot and so intense that it started uh, jumping over top of us to the other section. And once it did that, there was very little we could do. We had to back out for our own safety. So here's us getting all the gear out while a ripping forest fire picks up behind us, eventually starts moving at, uh, get some rank six action going on in there in a little bit. 
that whole forest starts going up going up hard that fire then ran 10 kilometers so we spent all day trying to hold it in one spot and when it finally broke free it went it picked up some real aggression and did what it's gonna do and you can just see from this video you know you only see a little bit of flames there's only the one kind of flame front that's on the outside edge but if you see where all that smoke's coming from there's walter and harley two of my crewmates that were on the crew that year so you see that one edge where it's at least made it through to our side of the forest you get to see some pretty rank fire action going on but up and down that line that's going on right so uh, even if you think to yourself, well, that doesn't look so bad. You guys probably could have knocked that down. That's just that's just the one part we are close enough to to see. So you can't win them all. You can't win them all. In fact, uh, there's a lot of times we don't. But there's a lot of victories as well. So I think, um, luckily, I've been around for way more victories than I have losses. Very, very, you know, a couple times a season we got losses, sure. But most of our season is winning, 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 winning. And I've never been there for a really bad loss where properties and things that, uh, you know, everyone's always survived. Everyone's always been safe and we've all got out of there just fine. So that's the kind of good thing that you want to see. That even when we lose, there it goes. She's ripping now. That's the craziest fire I've seen now. And it's not the craziest fire I've seen anymore, but... At that time, the height of those flames was about as big as I'd seen at that point. On the playlist as well, uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu Talks, that's really good stuff. Definitely uh, Seafood John Kaufman. These are really good episodes if you want to see some real, you know, you don't have to be a Wing Chun person to uh, listen to this. The story of Chi Shan Tin Wing Chun solved the problem rather than run. There's no magic energy. Rest in the tree, become a block of wood. You can't know how. There is no how. All that matters is transcending. Uh, these are important life lessons. This trap of self evaluation, the transcendent state, observe without judgment because you're already perfect. Your style doesn't make you good. Your body, my body is awkward, my head is heavy. You're not a monk. Don't beat yourself up. So, we got like 20 episodes here, and I do plan on uh, making some more 16 episodes there. So, eventually, John Kaufman and I will get talking again. Eventually, I'm going to try to go to Hong Kong and meet him and learn from him straight up. Weather and the fire env environment. Here's some educational things you can watch same with weather education and animal videos this is something you're going to see more of in time but uh meowie scares the dunny woodpecker i miss meowie bald eagle hanging with the ravens cow moose and calf on the black timber wolf stops by here i am just sitting on uh snowmobile and uh next thing you know a big black wolf just kind of walks up and then he's like Whoa, a human's there. He was kind of surprised to see me. I was a little bit surprised to see him. And uh, you see he's got his tail kind of between his legs. He's he's uh, no threat to me, and I knew that right away. In fact, I've never been scared of wolves. There's nothing worse. There's nothing terrible about them. They're just, just crazy, giant, wild dogs. For Churchill, for the things that we kind of like to go... Would you say that they're breeding like rabbits? Uh, I would say both literally and figuratively. I think you can say a wild horse just walked out to me when my snowmobile was broke down. No, Dave says. Some of these timber cruising adventures. This whole playlist uh, is also uh, Chilcotin Plateau Adventures of the Chilcotin Plateau. So I spent a whole winter timber cruising out in this country, and uh, it was a winter that involved a lot of suffering. To be honest, I mean, it was it's cold in the winter. You're snowshoeing around. There's nowhere to sit down, nowhere to sit and have your lunch without getting your butt cold. Ah ah ah! Honk. That's my kind of goose. So there's uh, six videos of that horse, but here's uh, caribou instead. But rather, there's better, closer pictures of the horse where I get real close to him. But we just skip on by that right away and go look at these caribou instead, because here in Wells, British Columbia, we get caribou. Yeah, that's pretty typical and pretty cool. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, that's I think that's my ex-girlfriend there. Uh, mountain caribou on the highway. Endangered mountain caribou is. Probably the most endangered thing in this uh, video, actually, though, was the ex-girlfriend because uh, 
that's been a much more rare thing around here these days, seeing uh, women than uh, seeing wild animals. So living in the mountains like I do here, 4,000 feet in Bell Wells, British Columbia, I do happen to see lots of wild animals. We've had bears in town this week. No big deal. That happens. And wild caribou out in the highway. And definitely no women. And that's probably why I make so many YouTube videos because there's uh, I've got no one to talk to in my life except for you people and the animals. And... Well, the kids too as well, I suppose. So here's the endangered mountain caribou. Only a few strong herds in BC that are left. Uh, most of the herds are very much endangered. So it's definitely a privilege to get to see these beautiful endangered, in many cases, uh, many herds are already extinct, functionally extinct, if not fully. You know, I want to hear about you and 300 women. Right. Have you been dancing with all the girls lately, Frankie? Quite a few of them. I got something else to say. It's going to breathe. Now here we have a bear that's sleeping in its den, and uh, I mean, don't do what I say, not what I do, because uh, what I do is probably what you shouldn't do. But I go and stick my head in there and have a look at that bear. Yeah, he's sleeping so good, he doesn't even care. He's completely ambivalent and oblivious to us. There's his little black fur. I should have reached in and pet him. But you shouldn't. Don't do that kind of shit. Don't do what I do. Because I'm a crazy asshole. Well, I was. I was becoming a feral animal out in the wilderness, right? So the polar bears play dead. No, uh, polar bears eat dead things. There's that whole whole playlist, Adventures on the Caribou Plateau. You can also find a lot of those videos from as well. So awesome stuff here and then of course caribou dude these are all mostly funny videos that you can watch but uh definitely weather education fire season videos tomahawk fire crew videos uh lots of cool stuff on this channel that you can watch so definitely the playlist that hey if that's not good enough for you you can go to live here here's where we broadcast our uh new episodes as you can see New episodes of Comedological Report, 127 views, 114 views, 181 views. So definitely what I need is uh, to see this number go to 1,000 videos next and see this number go to 2,000 subscribers and to see these numbers down here in views go from 150 views to 1,500 views, something like that. That would be optimum. And then even shorts, go to the shorts section here and you see uh, shorts get views sometimes, major life... I got hiccups from drinking coffee. God damn it. Major fire in Kelowna. I got 500 views. So certainly I'm putting a lot of effort into making this channel awesome. And still only seeing so much return. Uh, Bruce Brown, my buddy, sent me this video. And this is a fire that we were on out west of Quinell this year. And this is a, a really tall dust devil. That's something fantastic. So look at that. So wildfires and wild thunderstorms and wild dust devils and wild animals and all that kind of wild shit 1000 videos here on my channel friends i hope that you enjoy what i'm doing here please tell your friends please try to help me grow this channel please hit the like and the share and the subscribe those are things you can do that are free but they really help me right and i know that uh you're probably not stoked on commercials and things like that but hey those are commercials give me a kick down so by watching those commercials here on youtube you are helping to support the content creators right so what i wouldn't mind seeing in my life is to have the ability to make money off my channel and this be what i do and put more effort more energy into it spend more time going to places and adventuring and trying to get better better quality video better interviews so uh, definitely because i spend a great deal of my time still trying to survive um, that limits what I can do in this channel. So here's hoping that someday I have 10,000 subscribers and videos are getting watched 10,000 times a piece. And from that, uh, this can be what I do. Thanks so much for all the support though, all the same. And if you're on Facebook, make sure you enjoy interior weather and join interior weather and wilderness watchers. Many of us have served long Facebook jail sentences. <laughs> it's a blast, man. I mean, so this is Interior Weather and Wilderness Watchers. It's the project that I started on Facebook, 16.6 thousand members. And this is the main audience 
for these videos that I make weather forecast. So be prepared. There is going to be another forecast I'm going to be making pretty soon. We got that warm weather coming to British Columbia. We uh, I did notice in one of the models this week that that uh, tropical storm Philippe in one model had it going towards New Nova Scotia, but every other model said not to. Uh, think about that. It's going to stay up to sea. Well, now we know for sure that that trough that's moving through. Uh, the continent is going to kind of stall out and slow down there when it gets to the East Coast, and that's going to suck in that Hurricane Philippe right to, or Tropical Storm Philippe right to Nova Scotia, Bay of Fundy, places like that. So, uh, you know, I'm not always perfect, but I tend to make some pretty good forecasts here. We got some gravity waves, nice video, nice photos of gravity waves here. Interesting, Quinell was BC's hotspot yesterday, but it was also one of the coldest spots in the province in the morning. Um, and then, of course, I make my forecast. Here's some radar imagery. Solid rains and wells last night, 14 hours ago. And uh, I'd like to post my videos here. So if you live in British Columbia, make sure that you go to Interior Weather and Wilderness Watchers on Facebook and keep up with all the forecasting we're doing here because this is people's best place to go. And I'll tell you, during the uh, big fire outbreak, uh, quite a few people who follow that Interior Weather and Wilderness Watchers group afterwards told me that they had already evacuated their livestock, their house, their homes, their animals, things like that because of what I was saying about what the weather was going to do. I knew that that fire was going to stand up and run 10, 20 kilometers because of how much wind was expected, because of how much heat and how low the humidity was in the air. I knew that that fire was going to be up and running and moving and people who follow that weather group they got their stuff out in time and were long gone. So I got uh, lots of thank you gifts and cards and people buying me hats and things like that. I love letters in the mail. So, I mean, we're trying to make real world difference right here. Certainly, uh, other fire season predictions I've made over the years have really had an impact on people's plans. Certainly, the Atmospheric River 2 winters ago when I was predicting that, people took that seriously. So I can think of many times where my predictions have had very positive consequences. Certainly for the amount of times that something didn't happen to people because they saw the forecast ahead of time and they said to themselves, you know what, we're not going to go do that today. So they don't go and do something and then the weather doesn't screw them over. So there is no story because they took precautions and didn't engage in the activities they might have been engaged in if there hadn't been severe thunderstorm outbreak or something like that going on. So it's hard for us to know. The positive sometimes because nothing happened because I said, bad storm, stay in the bush. And people are like, okay, let's not go in the bush. And then there's nothing happened. There's no statistic that you can be made for when nothing happens, right? So all we can do is sort of look at the, the trends in the past and, and say, well, you know, let's just play it safe today. Anyways, that's 1,000 videos on my channel, folks. Please uh, do come on by and catch us tomorrow night when we make a new episode of the Meteorological Report. And the best part is I got lots of footage from fire season still to come. So definitely make sure you're sticking around here because some of the best footage I have yet has not been put out so far. So definitely get in and watch uh, all my fire season videos if you can because that will give you a really good idea what it's like to be us. Okay, friends. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Say hi, Joy Only. Hey, Hi, Joey. I'm Frank Adele. You're listening to DV Rogers World Report every Thursday night. Joey Only's a really nice guy. He's on 88.7 FM, Prince George Radio Station, and uh, CF, you are 88.7 FM, Prince George, and CKUW 95.9 FM Radio Station, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Joey Only fights fires. The caribou weather dude. He's a caribou weather dude. He fights fires. He's a comedian, plus me, Rogers weather guy. I'm on Joey Only Show every Thursday night at 7 p.m. late. Pacific Standard Time, 11 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Joey Only's a really nice guy. He's a really nice guy. He does weather reports and things like this. I'm on his podcast every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Time, 11 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time on his YouTube channel. And the, the CFUR 88.7 FM in Prince George, British Columbia. And CKUW 95.9 FM radio station, Winnipeg, Manitoba.